When you think of peanuts, you probably imagine a salty snack at a bar, peanut butter spread on warm toast, or maybe even a classic PB&J sandwich. But here's the surprising twist. Despite their name, peanuts aren't nuts at all. That's right, the little legumes we casually toss into the nut category actually belong to an entirely different family of plants. It's one of those quirky facts that makes you stop and rethink everything you thought you knew about food. So today, let's dive into the fascinating story of peanuts, where they came from, what they really are, how they're grown, and why they've been so misunderstood for so long, right here on History of Simple Things. Peanuts are often grouped together with almonds, cashews, walnuts, and pistachios. But biologically, they're much closer to beans, lentils, and peas. The reason is simple. They're legumes. Unlike tree nuts, which grow on woody plants and trees, peanuts grow underground in pods. Each pod typically holds two or three seeds, which are the peanuts we eat. This makes them more like cousins to chickpeas and soybeans than to walnuts or hazelnuts. The confusion comes from how we use peanuts. Since they look, taste, and behave like nuts in cooking, we've all just lumped them into the nut category. But botanically speaking, they're imposters in the nut world. One of the most fascinating things about peanuts is how they grow. Unlike most crops, which develop above the soil, peanuts actually bury themselves underground. The peanut plant starts as a flowering plant, producing small yellow flowers above the soil. After pollination, the flowers wilt and form something called a peg. This peg grows downward, pushing itself into the soil, and it's there, beneath the surface, that the peanut pods mature. This underground growing habit is rare and gives peanuts a unique place in agriculture. It also explains why harvesting peanuts feels more like pulling up root vegetables than picking nuts from trees. If peanuts aren't really nuts, why do we keep calling them that? The answer lies in history and language. When Europeans first encountered peanuts in the Americas, they didn't quite know how to categorize them. They looked similar to nuts, they had a hard shell, and they were used in similar ways. Over time, the name peanut stuck, literally combining pea to show its legume side and nut to describe its culinary role. And that dual identity has followed it ever since. So while scientists are careful to point out that peanuts are legumes, in the kitchen, they'll always be treated like nuts. After all, no one is spreading pea butter on their sandwich. The peanut's journey through history is as fascinating as its biology. Peanuts originated in South America, where ancient civilizations like the Incas cultivated them thousands of years ago. Archaeologists have even found peanut-shaped pottery, dating back 3,500 years, showing just how significant they were in pre-Columbian cultures. Spanish explorers later carried peanuts back to Europe in the 16th century, and from there, they spread to Africa and Asia. In Africa, peanuts became an important crop and were integrated into many traditional dishes. When enslaved Africans were brought to North America, they brought peanuts with them, embedding them into Southern cuisine. Today, peanuts are grown worldwide, with China, India, and the United States among the largest producers. Their global story shows just how versatile and beloved these little legumes have become. Even if they're not technically nuts, peanuts have earned a permanent spot in kitchens around the world. Think about it. Roasted peanuts at a baseball game, peanut oil for frying, or the creamy richness of peanut butter that became a staple in American households. In Asia, peanuts are often used in sauces, soups, and stir-fries, giving dishes a nutty depth of flavor. 
In Africa, groundnut stew is a classic comfort food, and in South America, where peanuts first grew, they're often incorporated into candies and desserts. Their ability to adapt to different cuisines across continents shows just how flexible and appreciated they are, no matter where you go. Of course, no discussion about peanuts is complete without mentioning peanut butter. While the idea of ground peanuts has existed for centuries, the modern version of peanut butter we know today started in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. In fact, it was originally marketed as a health food, a high-protein option for people who couldn't chew meat. From there, it exploded in popularity, becoming one of the most iconic food spreads in the world. Today, Americans alone consume over a billion pounds of peanut butter every year. And while it might still surprise some people that peanut butter is technically legume butter, no one seems to mind. To wrap things up, let's drop in a few fun facts. Did you know it takes about 540 peanuts to make a single jar of peanut butter? Or that peanuts are sometimes called ground nuts because of the way they grow? Also, unlike most crops, peanuts actually enrich the soil by fixing nitrogen, which helps farmers rotate them with other plants like cotton and corn. That means peanuts aren't just good for us, they're good for the earth too. So, while peanuts may not be nuts in the botanical sense, their story is richer and more fascinating than most foods we eat. From their underground growth and global journey to their starring role in kitchens and economies, peanuts have proved that labels don't always define importance. They may be legumes, but in our hearts and on our plates, they'll always be part of the nut family. The next time you crack open a peanut shell or spread some peanut butter, you'll know there's more to this humble snack than meets the eye. And maybe, just maybe, you'll appreciate the peanut a little more, not for what it pretends to be, but for what it truly is. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below we'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.